when I first started getting involved, you have those stereotypes of what a, a homeless person is like. And these homeless families aren't like that at all. It's just due to circumstances, maybe a job loss or a divorce or, or things like that, that any one of us could probably end up being in that situation. Some of these families have really hit rock bottom. They really don't know where they're gonna go. We had one family living in a car. Homelessness is a, a problem and it doesn't have to be inner city of Chicago. We've got it right here. I kind of been telling people it's kind of like going on a mission but I didn't have to have any travel expense. One of the statistics we heard was that on an average in the Cedar Rapids School District, there's probably at least one child that's homeless in each classroom. So that, that really bothered me. One thing I really like about Family Promise is how empowering it is for the people and the churches. I mean, they take over and they run the program and you get involved and you roll your sleeves up and, and get involved firsthand. I really think that's awesome. We have a day center at First Presbyterian Church in downtown Cedar Rapids and that's a place where families can stay during the day uh, let's say they're not working that day or they're, they're figuring out their job search. Um, otherwise, it's often very empty because our families are working. In fact, we haven't had a family that does not work. At five o'clock every day, the families leave for one of 11 congregations where they receive a wonderful hot meal, great conversations with volunteers, a safe, warm place to sleep. It's very nurturing. I would say to anyone who's thinking about volunteering with Family Promise that uh, it's really not as difficult as you may think or as large of a time commitment. You can come in for an hour or two, you can play Scrabble with kids, you can help make a dinner, and you're in and out of there, and it's not a huge commitment, but oh man, it really pulls on your heart, and you will want to come back, trust me, many times and help again. And again, as people of faith, which this whole program is built on, we know that if you can do something to help somebody else who's got a tougher situation, that, then you should be looking for ways to do that. And also, I think getting to know the different churches in the, in the program, you know, I mean, as Presbyterians or Lutherans or whatever, you may not interact with a lot of the other denominations, but this has been a really great way for us to know some of the people from the other churches in, in the area. It's a wonderful thing that the congregations are doing, people acting out of their faith, um, giving of themselves and their time. Um, it's a, you can't put a price tag on it.